week in nerd history, coffee in an instant. Nerd history. Although it may seem like a relatively modern invention given its popularity in the go-go 90s, instant coffee actually has a long storied history. Freeze-dried instant coffee first gained popularity during World War II as a means for soldiers to get a much needed caffeine fix without the requirement of cumbersome brew gear. But the actual invention of instant is believed to have taken place in Britain in 1771, five years before America declared itself a free nation and the Revolutionary War began. But it wasn't until America's next Next armed conflict, the Civil War, that instant coffee found some footing. Much like in World War II, nearly a century later, instant coffee, this time in an experimental cake form, was created to ration out to soldiers to make coffee when not on the battlefield. It wasn't until the turn of the 20th century that instant coffee found a market with the home consumer. In 1901, a Chicago chemist named Satori Kato created the first stable coffee powder using a modified technique originally created to make instant tea. He would patent his instant coffee on August 11th, 1903, and it finally gained mass appeal by the end of that decade. In 1930, Nestle began working on their own version at the request of Brazil, who needed help utilizing a surplus of coffee beans. They finally cracked the Nescafe code in 1937. For the next 70 plus years, instant coffee became the go-to for a single cup serving of coffee needed in a hurry. That is, until Keurig came along with their single serving coffee pods, offering a higher quality coffee cup of coffee in the same amount of time. Keurig coffee pods are not technically instant coffee because the coffee inside is not freeze-dried. Of course, these K-pods came with drawbacks of their own, the largest being the waste they produced, which has even caused their creator to admit he wishes he never invented the product. Bottom line, there has never been a perfect replacement for good old-fashioned coffee brewing, and the taste is even better when you take the extra step of grinding the beans yourself. We recommend visiting thislittlebeanofmine.com and trying the Matt and Bubba in the Morning Blend, a collaboration with this awesome coffee company, and Love Thy Nerd. So much better than instant. I'm Radio Matt. See you next time for more Nerd History.